Hi guys, welcome to another video. Got this uh, tablet in today. It's a uh, Samsung T220 and it has a broken screen. You can just about see it actually. There you go, that's battered. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Right, so what I'm going to do first of all is I've got something like called a heat mat uh, which gets extremely hot here. This pad, when you set the temperature from this part here the switch is on the side and you can uh, adjust the temperatures here if you haven't got one of those uh, which most people won't have if you don't do this job for a living uh, use a hairdryer and heat up around the frame of the glass I mean the glass is broken doesn't matter um, just be careful that when you do take it out you don't go too far and damage something else which is behind the glass so we'll leave it on here for a few minutes and we'll come back and continue the video I think that should be enough time um, for the heat to penetrate, penetrate the bonding that's behind the glass and to make it a little bit weaker so we can we can separate it. Let's have a go. So moving that to one side for now. Okay, so just get um, behind the glass. We need to get inside this frame because the new screen doesn't come with the frame um, so hopefully we can get this apart pretty easily so the alcohol uh, which you're gonna need some alcohol IPA isopropyl, isopropyl um, that will help break down the bonding that's behind the glass uh, as you can see I'm getting in there okay uh, just a bit more, just to give it another hand. You can use plastic as well, and that will do the job. I'll show you what I mean by plastic. So, like this one, something like this. Switch the heat mat off. Put a bit of alcohol on the plastic. Let's get in there. And take over from the metal. You can see it's now come away. It flexes at the bottom of this device. I know that because I had a look at the uh, the screen. Now this new screen, you can see the flexes are at the bottom. So there's not really much chance that you can damage it unless you're actually removing the wor a working screen uh, from from here. This pitch slowly, we don't want to damage anything else. Uh, okay, there's not much gap underneath anyway to play with. Okay, see what's happening now. I'm getting, I'm getting behind the frame. Yeah, I don't want to get behind the frame. We need that frame to be intact. Okay, so. As you can see, it is now separated. I'm not sure if I've done this the correct way, purely because I haven't done one of these for, well, I don't think I've ever done one. Um, I don't think I've done this the correct way. What I should have done was just take off the frame. Um, but anyway, we've got to get the frame off to get to yeah, because there's no screws. If you look here in this panel, there's no screws here holding this panel in. So I assumed, assumed that we just clip, clip it out. And let's have a go at that, shall we? Let's just get into the frame. This is why I say to people, watch the entire video because you never know what's, what's going on. There is a, a TIM card, or a, a socket for the tr tray there, same tray, or a, uh, a little tool to remove. I don't know where it is, but let's see if I can get this frame out first. Okay, I want to bend it. I'm sure there's another way of doing this. Hold on. Let me have a look what I'm doing here. So the screen. Okay, so the 
flex goes in between underneath this frame here. So this part has to just pop out. Let's have a quick look, shall we? There is a few screws. Looking behind. Right, so yeah, this only comes out from the sides. So let's see if we can get in here. Yeah, so that's how you open this device. Uh, is get into this frame between the metal and the plastic. That will come out, as you can see. Uh, be careful where the power button and the volume buttons are, because that could easily you could damage something behind there. So we'll avoid that area. To be fair, my lighting is not the best today. I need to bring this a bit further in. Okay, that's better. I need to get a tool that's a bit, a bit stronger than this. This is not doing the trick. Let me get my other tool. Let's remove the tray for the SD card. This is a Wi-Fi version, there shouldn't be no SIM card doing that. There you go, Wi-Fi version. Put this into a little tray so you don't lose it. Now, we'll try and get in. That's all bent as well though, so once you take it out, we'll straighten that up. And uh, make it all nice and neat. This is not playing ball. Okay. Progress. You just need a bit more power. So you can use a, a kind of a screwdriver if you wanted to to get into it. And as you just as you just push it in, just pop it in. Uh, push it into this frame, and it just pops out. Don't really have to do much bending. Okay, so that side's out. A tricky little sucker, isn't it? Yes. All right. So. The board and everything is in that chassis, that uh, plastic frame. Let's see if we can get this out without. Can't get in there. I'm just trying anything, wherever I can get in. Well, I see a little bit of a gap. Just try and get in there. Okay. I said be careful just here where the volume buttons are. You don't want to damage the pads or anything behind there. Okay, that's coming away now. You've got a microphone it's there as well. Oh, well, whichever way we did it, the frame had to come out and the screen's got to come out of the frame, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, there you go. So that now has come away. So this is a little bit more tricky uh, than I thought. So what we need to do now Get this battery off. Let's remove the battery. Got a frame here to remove. This frame needs to come out. Let's disconnect that battery and uh, also disconnect the connectors for the screen. here to remove your screws it 
See, the thing is, the video is a little bit long, I suppose, but when you're doing it, you kind of will avoid um, some of the pitfalls that I've come up, come up against. So it'd be a lot easier for you to, to repair. This frame should just come out now. Okay. Disconnect the battery. Don't use metal, use a plastic spudger tool or something else that's not gonna damage anything. Okay. Now this battery, I bet you it's, is it bonded in? Yeah, see, bonded it in. Um, so we need to get behind the battery. Again, use a bit of alcohol just to get in there. And the alcohol will break up the battery. So you need a bit of a plastic tool just to get in there. Okay, I don't know. Is this. Ah, I think these pads. If you just use this pad, you could just pull out the battery. This is the uh, tape they use. I think if we just pull this tape, then we can just, ah, there you go, you see. Just pull this tape, and that will release the battery. We don't need to get any alcohol. And what we do afterwards, we put some double-sided tape in, and we'll bond it down that way. See, even with this tape, it's really annoying. If you pull it too hard, like I just have, we'll just, annoy you so if we just go in like this you see the alcohol's already penetrated that area so it made life easy for us um, if we didn't use alcohol then maybe we could have just got it out anyway can go in the bin remove the flex cables from the chassis the frame Right, so there should be right, there's another flex to have to remove that's behind here. If you look at the original screen, you'll see where the flexes go. I could make this video a lot shorter by just cutting bits and bobs out, but uh, I'm not going to do that on this one. I haven't got a clue what the things we're going to come up, come up against, any other issues, any hurdles. This screwdriver set's fantastic, have a look at it. So there's a link in my description below uh, on my Amazon store. Uh, it's, just, it's called a Chardon 122 piece toolkit. And uh, to be honest, it's got every tool in there that you need to open up most devices including MacBooks, you know, iPads and all that sort of stuff. Okay, let's get this off. Should just pop out this frame. Providing we got all the screws out. Thank you, Samsung, for making them the same colour as the frame. Can't see it. Could have done a silver screw. What difference does it make? It's behind that anyway. So, Make our life a lot harder. Pop off this LCD. Okay, and there you have your screen. Now, there is one thing that's wrong with this particular frame, and I've noticed that it's slightly kind of bent in an area. So I'm going to try and make sure that it's as straight as. Oh, God, it's horrible to work with. I'm just lining it up against uh, the edge of my desk. Just trying to make it as straight as possible. Even the volume button area had a bit of a, a dink in it, which it still has, but there's not much I can I can do with that. And that area there has got a little, little dink in it as well. You can see that there. Just straighten that up run it alongside the desk it's actually got a snap in it so but there's not much I can do with that that's how it was so it came in so before we actually bond this screen down I want to just check that all is well with the screen okay, pull the flex through connect it up including the 
charging board one. Or the data board, whatever you want to call it. Put that in there. Connect the battery. Now all we're doing is just seeing the screen, make sure the screen comes on and we haven't got a faulty screen. Uh, which one is the power button? It's the top one. Okay. Okay, and then charge it all, we have got a flat battery. So, okay, well, I'm going to charge uh, this up for a, for a moment and then we'll come back and continue. All right, guys, so managed to charge the device for a few minutes and uh, I was surprised to see that uh, my uh, favorite footballer of all time is on the front and it's Mr. Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo. And being my United fan, it's the best shirt he's wearing uh, or ever worn. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do is grab one of these little icons. And what I do, I just go across the screen anywhere that I think there's a flat spot, I send the screen back. But no, this one's a good one. I think it's perfect. So we'll go ahead now and on the screen. So I'm going to let's just disconnect the charger and the battery. I'm going to remove the screen. as well, disconnect connections to one side and what I'm going to do is let's see if there's any old bonding left. Now this is obviously that stuff they call that it's waterproof. Yeah, right, I believe that. Yeah, nothing's waterproof to be fair. I've seen loads of things like this, so I think we're just going to scrape off um, any old glue. I usually have a blade somewhere knocking about and I can't find it as usual. So I'm, 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 I work between a few desks, so that's a couple of desks, so it's always bouncing around. Yeah, you can see all the mess that's coming off. In fact, I'm making a, a meat of this, so I'm going to get my uh, little blade on the desk. Okay. To be fair, there's not much there. Uh, and whatever or what is there, it's gonna be not gonna get in the way really. Most of it came off uh, with the glass. There you go. Wonderful. Now, I've got something. This this glue that I use, this bonding glue, it's called T nine hundred, uh, and you get different ones. You get T nine thousand, which is a different color. Um, I'm going to put this on to the frame directly. And what we do with this this stuff is we leave it on there for just a small amount of time, a couple of few minutes, just to, just to let it get to a stage where it's a little bit tacky to touch, not liquidy, uh, and it will dry up pretty quickly. And once it gets tacky, that's when we can apply the new glass to the frame. Okay, there's a little bit of a ridge at the bottom there. We're going to look into that in a second. You don't need loads, uh, just enough to cover the area. Bit of a ridge on one of the sides. Let's put this stuff pin back in there. And what this ridge over here is. Okay, well if it's it was there and now it's gone. So I've got some glue on my hand as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a few minutes, put a bit more at the top where 
a thicker surface, more, a, a bigger surface area, put more glue. Make sure we don't get any near on the camera lens. So we'll give that a couple of minutes to um, get a bit tacky and then we'll put, put the glass on. Right guys, let's check how tacky this glue is now. Oh, that is very tacky. I don't know if you can see this, but can you see it's just like sticking to the screwdriver. Right, let's put this in now. Make sure you got the, the flexes through. Okay, and yeah, what you what you need to do is once you've done this, you need to once you've screwed it all in, put some tape around the sides and just bend it over, and that will ensure that you've got a very, very good connection. Now this I would recommend that leaving this bonding on there all the tape on there for quite a while because it does take and can take an extremely long time to um, <clears throat> does this flex need to be bent i don't think it does and that should be okay um i forgot what i was going to say now yeah it does take an extremely long time to set properly um so just make sure you well, haven't bonded this down this uh, battery, so to get some double sided tape just to screw it down with, bond it down with. Right, so I've got this tape, I'm going to put it in the same place where the other, the other tape was, like so. It's a double sided. I always say make sure that patience is uh, applied when you're doing these things. You need a lot of patience with this stuff. Otherwise, one wrong move and you're dead. Just making sure that the glass is bonding down nicely, and it is. Now, any, any uh, excess glue that squeezes out, just get some alcohol on a pad and just get it off. And that was on the inside. Just gonna get my blade and just cut that out. I didn't know there was anything on the inside. I didn't see anything. Um, Obviously there, there must have been, but anyway, it doesn't matter. We're we'll bonding it down, so it shouldn't make any difference whatsoever. Some, ah, we do need to take it out again because if you look just there, that's for the camera lens. So that's what I'm saying. See, these are the things that I tell people. We watch the entire video. Anyway, they don't listen. They don't listen. They watch. They watch the bits, important bits. But these are the very important bits. These are the most important bits, if you ask me. Is, so let's try and just peel that away. Okay, let's see. Anyway, that's just for the camera lens, so I don't want to make a mess of that. Get that tape and see if we can peel off that lens for the camera. Okay, so don't worry, not that bad. We'll, we'll get through this. The glue is still tacky enough for me to, to use it. Just make sure there's nothing over the camera, which there isn't. That's fine. Okay, that's all good. That's great. I'm gonna remove this heat pad. Just make a bit of a mess. Let's put that there. Put this 
frame back on. To be honest, uh, the rest of it is pretty straightforward. I'm sure you know what you're doing. Uh, but if you want to watch the rest of the video, you're most welcome to. Okay, now we'll put all the screws in now. This will be uh, speeded up into hyperspeed. See you on the other side. Okay, almost there now. A couple of more screws. And then we'll put this into the frame. Sure, it's all good. Put in bottom first. Okay, I'll slowly go around and pressing it in. The last thing we want to do is crack the new screen. You can see that volume button there. That's going to be a bit of a that's not. Can't do much with that. It's bent. If we do any more, it'll break. So. Okay, the bottom frame's in. Now, what I'm going to do is just get some alcohol on a pad. I'm just going to go around the edges, get rid of the excess glue that's seeped out. And it was quite a bit. You can see it all flicking off on the, the worktop. Push it down as you're going along, you might get a little bit more squeezing out. Okay, that is now job done. More alcohol just there. Perfect job. Now just take the film off, make sure there's no other residue around. There's a little bit just in that corner. Quite a bit actually in that corner. Now what I've got which you probably will not have, but just get some tape, get some cellar tape and tape it round. But what I've got, I've got these little clamps, which they're basically like this, so I can adjust, adjust them. So I'm gonna put these round the frame, just to push, just a little bit, not too tight, just nip it up, so the bonding bonds properly. its surface don't need too many to be fair just in there one just there at the bottom and a couple at the top So I'll leave that now for a few hours and then uh, I'll speak to my client and they can come and collect it. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Take care.